Bana na 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 Wonder Colt da 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 Bana na 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 The Shadow Bolt Wait wait what? What did you say? Hey everyone, Mayhem Prone here for the Mayhem Prone Show, where today I'll be discussing my new theory on how Nightmare Moon is the true antagonist of the Equestria Girls movie series. Now, I've seen Equestria Girls Friendship Games several times, and every time there's been one detail that really unsettles me. The students of Equestria High are called the Wonder Colts, which makes sense because the Wonder Colts are important in Equestria, but the students of Crystal Prep are called Shadow Bolts. Now, for those of you who don't remember, the Shadow Bolts are a creation of Nightmare Moon. During the season premiere, she was trying to destroy the main six by making them disobey their element of harmony. When she was trying to make Rainbow Dash betray her friends, she created a fake team of flyers called the Shadow Bolts, which were meant to induct Rainbow Dash in to make her betray her friends. Most reasonable people would say that the writers just pulled a random name from the show out of their hat to use as a throwaway title but I believe that their choice of names was completely intentional. When you compare the show to the movies, there's a lot of shared canon between them. Almost every character from the show fulfills an identical or at least a very similar role in the Equestria Girl movies. This would lead many people to wonder where are the Equestrian villains in the Equestria Girls universe? This may sound radical, but I believe that Nightmare Moon has been the puppet master pulling the strings behind the entire trilogy. This would explain the unexpected appearance of Principal Fence in Equestria Girl's Friendship Games. She is not truly the one in charge, she's just an underling hired by none other than Nightmare Moon. This would also explain why the students of Crystal Prep are called the Shadow Bolts. Nightmare Moon is shaping the school after her own image. This really leaves one question, why? Why would Nightmare Moon take over Crystal Prep just to go against Equestria High, which she's already the vice principal of. What are her motives for doing something like this? When you think about it, the answer is quite simple. Nightmare Moon has always had one goal in mind, overthrowing her sister Celestia. So the problem with her plan is, since she's in the human world, she wouldn't have very much equestrian magic to use, and she doesn't have much influence because Celestia is very well liked in the area. So what do you do if you don't have magic or influence? You get some darn dirty politics. Equestria High has suffered magical attacks three times, and they've lost the friendship game every time for the past few decades. I don't know about you, but I think this would be horrible for Celestia's reputation. So I believe that Nightmare Moon is doing all of this on purpose to ruin her sister's reputation, so she'll get fired and she can take over. This actually explains a lot of stuff. People have been wondering, how did someone so unstable like Sunset Simmer rise to power? How did the Sirens get into the school and into the Battle of the Bands so effortlessly? And why did nobody other than the main six try to stop Evil Twilight from stealing all the school's magic? For these events to make any logical sense at all, they had to be orchestrated by some third party. And who is the only major villain that we've seen in the movies from Equestria? Luna, aka Nightmare Moon. This is the face of evil you see before you. Fear her, for she will destroy you all. What do you think of my theory? Is it actually possible that Nightmare Moon is controlling the Equestria Girls movies from behind the shadows? Leave a comment in the section below to let me know what you think. The must watch pony video of the week goes to any entertainment who just made a theory about how the symmetry of the main six has actually improved because of Twilight becoming an alicorn. Now before I let you go, I have to mention I'm about to hit 50 subscribers. Now I want you guys to tell me what I should do for my 50 subscriber special. If you want me to do a Q&A, leave me some questions. If you want me to do a challenge, tell me what challenge to do. It's really up to you guys. And until next time, I'm Mayhem from the Mayhem Prone Show. And hey look, I got a new outro.